Welcome to Crazy Nuts, 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one. Let's start the timer. Budding. Uh, dude, Yo. there are these worms mm. that they figured out will eat plastic or styrofoam. Yes, I heard about this. Yeah, okay. so I was like, that is kind of cool. Uh -huh. And I guess it's like meat, some sort of mealworm or whatever. And, yeah, 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 yeah. and, they'll, and they'll eat. It My, said plastic, but then the picture shows styrofoam, so I'm not I'm not sure which which is which. Yeah, I think it was it definitely plastics, but you gotta like obviously grind them up or whatever. Yeah, so they were talking about that could potentially be like help solve the trash problem on the planet. Yeah. And I was like, imagine they just released like thousands of millions of these worms like in like dumps and they just like but then i was like what happens when they run out of plastic to eat? <laughs> and they will like how big will they get will they like invade yeah like, i don't know yeah I would, now that's another thing is like i don't know how how invasive are they because it's like do they eat they eat plastic will they eat anything else Right, they're just gonna like eat everything in the dump. They'll just eat yeah. like wood, the couches and and nightgowns yeah. and and then it's freaking tremor tremors too. <laughs> or something. That is how tremors. They really uh, <laughs> set the mealworms on the uh, dumps. <laughs> Definitely remember tremors. One of my one, one of my favorite stupid uh, movies from that time, like Dude, monster th movies. That movie has a following. For sure, it should. Yeah, it's, it's a damn good movie. It's a. Uh, I remember watching it a long time ago, and I saw part of it sometime. I think I was slipping through. It was on some stupid thing for free, and I was like, "Yeah, this is wild movie, but like, it's it's kind of good. It's kind of <laughs> in, in a weird '80s cheesy way. It's kind of good. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. I don't know, Jonas. Worms that eat plastic. It, it, it's a it's a very cool scientific advancement. Always concerned about what what could potentially happen on the negative, but you know I'm a negative Nancy. Yeah, I don't think that that's where they're at. I mean they uh, they just said that they're like, oh look, they'll do this thing, and then, and then they're like, we should tell everybody that they well, kind of do this thing. So what do we do with plastics right now? Do we just like recycle? And like I'm always being told to recycle them, so um, I just assume they take the plastics and turn them into new plastics. Yeah, this is completely truth, not facts, because I have never researched it myself. Oh, yeah. But like I know certain things can't be recycled because yeah. some of them don't have the little recycle emblem on them, right? Styrofoam for sure is one of those things. It just yeah. kind of sits around, takes forever to biodegrade. And even some plastic, for some reason, isn't isn't yes recyclable. Pl plastic takes forever to biodegrade yeah. as well. And so I'm not sure what they do. I mean, you can melt down plastic. I saw a video. I, I watched it. It must have been trending on Reddit or something. Did somebody burn in plastic? Well, <laughs> yes. And, like, somebody this kid fire. saved a ton of, like, bottle caps for, like, two-liter bottles. Like, the, the twist-on plastic caps. All these different colors, right? Okay. So then he, like, used, like, a double boiler to, like, melt it. Which is obviously toxic as hell, right? Because sounds you know, like it. So, anyways, he's doing this, and then he gets he mixes it together, so it's this kind of like rainbowish looking thing, and then he he has a big like salad tossing metal bowl, like a big like bowl that you a, would a cauldron. Yeah, not quite a cauldron, but yes, like okay. a, it feel like you put like a wok on a table, but without you know like that kind oh, of like okay. bowl. Okay, and he and he's like and he pours the wax in, he takes another one and presses it. So the wax, or yeah, gets stuck. The plastic gets stuck in between the two of them, and he just makes like a bowl. You made a plastic bowl out of plastic lids for a two liter, and I, I, and then, and like I was like, what is? No, this is a good. I was wondering where it was going, and honestly, that is not where I saw it going. And that's all he did, and then he made something else that was like that, and it it was just like okay, he so... put together like a TikTok about it, and just like <laughs> I was just like. This is weird, man. I mean, like, fair enough, man. I look, you know, he's he's helping the environment in some way. He's, I don't know how much how toxic is burning plastic caps. <laughs> I mean, he didn't burn them, but he melted them. There, there were oh, dude, you gotta do it somehow, I guess. Yeah, but so so yeah, I guess plastic does not doesn't biodegrade like. Or, I think or its so. half life is like a dumb amount of years. Yeah, it's, like it's crazy. So I guess all you can do is repurpose it. So hey, that that's one way to do it. Yeah, yeah, I don't... But they just keep making more of it, so you can't repurpose it Well, yeah, all. and I guess that's the thing. But the recycle... I don't know how they recycle it different. If they made... I don't know. They just take the bottles and make more bottles. Yeah, and it's like, how, how do you use these worms? Like, I'm picturing, like, this is my idea, all right? So I'm at the dump, and we have, like, a giant just, like, 
square cylinder, not a square cylinder. Doesn't work. <laughs> I was like, but okay. like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, f- frick it, make it a cylinder. Fine. We have so a like, giant glass cylinder full of these worms, and we're just <laughs> hucking like used freaking bottles in there. And, and- <laughs> oh, there's like a pit. Yeah, and then you throw it in. It just it just sinks into and the pit and gets eaten. It, and they just oh like fr- freaking piranhas and shit. That's dude. actually an ingenious way to do it because there's. How more. did you think they were gonna do it? I thought they were just gonna go to existing dumps and put the worms on the ground and let them eat through the oh. the stuff that's already in the ground. No, I'm like use them as a disposal pit. Oh wow, they could just like fill up an M- an old uh, NFL stadium with them. And no, then just well, that's a lot of worms. And then just air that's drop, a lot of worms. Airdrop crash, and it'll just soak in, and they'll just gobble it up. And so here's the other thing: is like, what's going to happen to these worms if they live another? If they live off a diet exclusively of plastic? <laughs> That like sure they it. can eat plastic, but is it good for anything to eat only <laughs> plastic? Styrofoam is it good right? for anything? Styrofoam is like the worst thing on the planet for uh, the planet. Like we're definitely gonna f this worm up, man. That, that worm is done for. We're gonna, gonna feed like, these worms plastic he's and grow arms else. or something. Something grow plastic spikes out his back. Something. Dude. And then there's microplastics in the goddamn ocean. Eat them in fish, dude. We're done. I mean, we can't put worms in the fish. I mean, have you not ever chewed on a pen when you were a kid? And I it's don't. Kind of the same thing. I don't eat. I feel like I've definitely eat plastic. <laughs> Look, they t- they say that every time you microwave something in a plastic container, that a bit of that plastic ends up on your food. And yeah, you yeah. It. People say not to heat up sh- stuff in the microwave. Yeah, or in, in a, a plastic, plastic container. bowls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I do that at, like literally every night. Yeah. Like um, literally every day. Yeah, I uh like I'm going to do it tonight. <laughs> 100%. Right. In 10 minutes I will be actually melting plastic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah dude, I don't Yeah, I heat stuff up in plastic bowls. Not I mean, is, yeah. is Tupperware safer or Uh, we'll see like I like there's these ones that I have that are like that the stain shield or whatever. They're I think they're a different type of plastic cuz they don't have the porous plastic. I think oh, it's the ones no. that like any bowl, if you heated up spaghetti sauce in it, it would like bubble the sides and the red would soak uh, into it. Everyone ever seen that? Yeah, yeah dude, like, you still eat it. Yeah, that I would say that is where the line is crossed. Of like, there's probably some plastic <laughs> See, in that. Food. That's probably the worst case scenario. <laughs> But yeah. I'm not going to discredit, like, the fact that, yes, I'm about to eat more plastic because I'm putting it in this Tupperware. I need to know, like, do they have, like, microwave-safe plastics? Yeah, that, I think, yeah, yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, I think, like, actual Tupperware brain, like, the, the high-end pla- Tupperware, uh, whatever, Rubbermaid uh, containers, whatever. I'm sure some of them are, are sure, microwave-safe or whatever. Well, I guess it really don't matter because we won't be around for the class action lawsuit anyway. Yeah, dude, they we'll won't be, be dead around. From somebody plastic. Else, they'll be gone. Somebody else will be making it, and they won't. Yeah, it's yeah, we'll be dead from plastic toxicity by then. So plastic I guess it's, toxicity. It's gonna happen, man. Dude, you're that's eating why micro- everybody has cancer. You're eating microplastics right now. Look Dude, at you chewing on them. I mean, I can't help it that I chew on the plastic that's left over <laughs> from the items that I buy. You know, when you finish a pack of hot dogs, you just chew on the plastic right? wrapper. You get that hot dog juice flavor in there. If you, I uh, could count the times I've walked in through this door <laughs> and catch you chewing on a two liter. <laughs> yeah, you know, just, <laughs> just biting on the end. Of it. I'm just like, <laughs> man. There's, I know there's more Dr. Pepper in here. <laughs> just chewing, trying I, to get. Muscle. I can still taste the Dr. Pepper yeah. on it. Yeah, I can still. Exactly. I just, yeah. That's that's what I'm doing. It's that's just, what I'm doing. Very wholesome. I that's just really want doing. more of the pepper. You know, I'm hooked. All yeah. right. Yeah, dude. So, but uh, yeah, but uh, anyways, uh, that is all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to go to crazydown.com and subscribe. And I can't stop this timer, so you get to hear that. Yep, still going. Yep, Jonas. TNT. Yep, we out. <laughs>